Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, Do you think the average person could get through engineering school? Oh, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So. Thanks if you do that. I've recently graduated high school and picked up a summer internship for an engineering company. I've enjoyed my time there and received a job offer. There's lots of space for career growth with increase of pay if I get an engineering degree. The only caveat is that I didn't do very well in high school and don't know if getting an engineering degree is feasible for me. Any advice or information on how engineering school would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Interesting. Could the average person get an engineering degree? Well, if you ask an engineer, no, of course not. We're gods and you don't have the ability to be where we are. But uh, my real answer is yes, of course, you can get an engineering degree. You would actually know if you were friends with engineers that most are not that intelligent. So, <laughs> oh, come on, guy, come on. Hey, I never said present company was excluded. I'll throw myself in there. But no, I know there's a difference between street smarts and book smarts and this person does say that they didn't do very well in high school so that's kind of the cause of concern if i'm going to do more school how do i know i'm going to be good at it i mean i've sucked so far so why would i do the hard one and an engineering degree has the worst pr team because you only hear horror stories but that's the problem with like a problematic celebrity it's like no matter how good their pr team is they're always going to be in the news for something bad and that's kind of an engineering degree. No matter how nice they make it look on the college brochure or the college tour, an engineering degree is still an engineering degree. It is still extremely problematic in its own regard. So could an average person have what it takes to conquer such a monster, such a beast? Well, yeah, jokes aside, I think an average person could do it. I think it's smart to be, you know, conscious of your own situation and it's good it seems like you have the self-awareness to be like hey i know i'm probably gonna suck at this can i do it guys because let me know so that's good you're smart enough to know at least that so i would say to answer your question yes you can earn it now the next question is how can you go about earning it you probably have heard these things where it's like engineering degree that's four years get in get out boom but don't hold yourself to that standard even myself i took almost five years to get my degree I was on the quarter system, so it was like four years and two quarters. I called that last year my 50 cent year. And no one got it. I used that joke many times and no one got it. If you also don't get it, it's essentially because, you know, I only had to do two quarters. So, 50 cents. It's two quarters. <coughs> I'm not saying it's a good joke. It's just, it's there though. It is a joke. But yes, don't feel bogged down if you have to take longer time to get your degree. If it does, that's okay. You're still gonna have an engineering degree at the end of the day. It's not like when you apply for jobs, the <laughs> job is like, okay, well, how how long did it take you to do that? Hmm. Unless you're one of those like 17 year old child prodigies that like throws away their childhood and college years just so they can be in the news at their local paper. Take the time. No one's gonna give a shit. And it's funny, when I did take, you know, that extra half year to get my degree, you see all the other people that are also taking that amount of time to get their degree. You're not alone. There are other average people out there that are in this struggle with you. So I think that's also another mental note when you're going into this, is that all the people that are pursuing the degree, they're not great either. I mean, I can't speak on their character, but in terms of earning a degree, I don't know how easy it's going to be for them. That's actually one of the nice things I found about pursuing an engineering degree is that it is so difficult. So everyone around you is also struggling pretty hard. And I don't know, something about other people being scared makes me feel more at ease. Well, okay, not, not at ease, but it at least gives me the sanity that, oh yeah, I am right to be freaking out right now. That's why you never want to see a scared flight attendant because then you know some shit's going down. And in engineering, everyone's scared. So it gives you that confirmation that, oh yeah, this shit is hard. But there are still engineers that try to put on a, you know, a strong face and be like, no, that was easy. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was so simple. And then they got a 63, which actually is good because the class average was 37. But we're not gonna talk about that. Again, I don't wanna scare you. <laughs> An engineering degree already has terrible PR. I don't wanna contribute to that. I would say though, Decide what field of engineering you want to get into. Is the internship for this engineering company something you like doing? If so, ask them, hey, I like what you guys are doing. If I wanted to get a degree to be in this same field, 
what degree would you guys recommend? What do you look for? Because the worst thing to do is to go into engineering under the wrong major. You know, let's say you only needed to be an electrical engineer and you go in for computer engineering, but you're not too good at programming. That's just going to be hell for no reason. Don't torture yourself if you don't have to. If they just are looking for an electrical engineering degree, a mechanical engineering degree, aerospace, you know, make sure you're getting the right one. Going into the wrong one, that's going to make you hate this even more. So yes, make it easy on yourself. Do just enough research to be like, oh, the jobs I am interested in, it seems like you already kind of know what you're interested in. What degrees do they look for? And then only pursue those. Plus, another nice thing about college is that there's so many different ways to learn. You know, you got office hours of the TA of the professor. There's clubs that do office hours. The friends you make, they're going to have different ways of learning. So you struggled in high school, but we could chalk that up to like, maybe that high school wasn't the greatest learning environment for you. Maybe college will actually be a flip. You'll be like, oh my God, I'm good at this shit. But college will open you up to so many different ways to learn that there's a good chance that something might stick, something might work for you. So one piece of advice I have for you is to try as many different ways to learn as possible because you got to figure out what sticks as quick as possible. That is the one thing. Yes, college is a whole different beast, but that means that there's a chance that you could figure it out a little easier, a little quicker. So to answer your baseline question, yes, an average person can get an engineering degree. You just gotta fully immerse yourself in the experience. Seek out the materials. Make sure you're going in the right direction. If you do those two things, I think you're good. Also, at the end of the day, remind yourself that I have an engineering degree. So, I mean, come on, what are we talking about here? And in that same vein, I mean, who am I to give advice, right? We gotta listen to other people. So, let's read the comments, see what they say. I failed math multiple times in high school and was like 20 places from being dead last in my class. I'm a senior in materials engineering right now with a 3.4 GPA doing a joint bachelor's and PhD program. You'll be fine. See, that's great. That's awesome. And you might be thinking, oh, 3.4, that's that's not 4.0. High school is very skewed, right? 4.0 was like the bare minimum to be like successful in high school. In college, above 3, I mean, that's good. Above 3.5, that's exemplary. So 3.4, that's that's good stuff right there. It is true. I mean, there's different systems in high school versus college. It seems like this person, I'm going to admit, maybe they're getting a little lucky, right? Because college is working out better for them. And I'm basically saying, who's to say that that couldn't be the same for you? I'm sure tall cat 8890 was having the same exact thoughts that you're having right now. And look at that. They're going to get their PhD. Getting through college as an engineering major is more about sticking with it than anything else. Source, stupid as fuck and about to graduate. See, that's what I'm saying. You just got to keep with it. Don't get discouraged and just kind of find what works for you and then you'll be fine. And what's the source, scar of what? Trust me, bro? Nah. You got someone right here saying, yeah, man, I'm stupid as fuck and I'm about to get out of this even. I graduated with a 2.7 and in my last year of Bachelor's of Mechanical Engineering. If you want it, you'll be fine. That goes back to my point, you know? If you do want it and you are able to stick with it, you will be able to get it. Here's another comment, yes, if they want it bad enough. Another comment here, yes, source, average person. And then this person says an average person could if they're willing to work their ass off. Another example of what I'm talking about. And I think this comment actually wraps it up perfectly from Max32165 when he says, definitely getting an engineering degree is more about the work that you are willing to put in than natural talent. Will it be easy? No but only you can decide if it will be worth it for you. And I think that's a perfect comment that kind of summarizes it all, you know? Is it gonna be a cakewalk? No, of course not. But if you want it bad enough, you can do it. And another thing I want you to do is subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and like the video. And I will see you in the next one.